So, we are almost there now. Uh, scenes and how to use scenes. As I told you before, scenes are important. They make you your life more easy. And also, if you want to interact and jump between scenes, for example, uh, if you want to go through a door and then or change words, then you can have like a trigger between scenes and then it's just going to jump to the other scene, right? So let's go to unit. Here we are in Unity and then let's go to our assets and let's go to scenes. And then this is our scene that we have here. I'm going to call this scene like uh, word one. Uh, it says, do you want to reload the scene? Yeah, reload, whatever. I'm going to create a new scene, right? And so I'm going to hit the right button, create scene, create scene. And then I'm going to call this world two. Bam. If you can see here in the upper corner, it says that I'm in the world one, like in the tutorial demo in the world one. And if I double click here, now I'm going to be in the world two. So in my second scene, and as I told you, each scene has their own hierarchy because they have their own elements and uh, create like a plane. And then I'm just going to select it here. And then I'm going to go to materials, trivial floor two, this blue, and then I just have a blue floor, right? Beautiful second word. And then if I want to go back to my other word, I'm just going to go to scenes and yes, I need to save it. If I want to jump from this word to this word, I need to have a trigger like a script that it's going to help me to jump like so for that like in unity you use c sharp i'm not going to go through that because that's too much so i'm just gonna i i already make some scripts uh, so i'm gonna go to assets and then i'm gonna create like a folder and then i go to folder and then i'm gonna create scripts scripts and then i just hit scripts uh and i'm gonna bring my scripts that i already have around here zine switch Boom, I just drag it. And then I have my script, it's compiling my script, yeah, whatever, la 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 la. And if you want to check the script, as I show you in, 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 the, in the course, it's really simple, it's three lines for jumping. So it's just like a public variable that is scene, scene number, I'm gonna show you what is that. Uh, then it's gonna be like this uh, void on trigger with the collider and it's just like calling this library of Unity that it's scene manager and it just load scene. So it's just like a regular code that it's quite simple. I'm gonna go here now and then I'm gonna, I need to create like a physical or visible uh, trigger, right? So for example, I'm gonna create a door to the other dimension. So let's create like an empty object. Let's create like door cube. And then I'm just gonna say to this guy to reset. And then I'm just gonna bring here, here, chan, chan, chan. And then I'm just gonna create something like uh, this, like this. Should be like an option for a pedestal or something like that, because it's taking too much. 186, yes, that's perfect. Here, let me go here, chan, chan, chan. Uh, control D. And then I just have this one here. And then I'm just gonna control D again. And rotate this thing in the set uh, 90 degrees put it a little bit bam okay then we have our beautiful door material for my door so create i don't know like something this color i like this color this is one of my favorite colors door and then i'm just gonna assign this to my door bam bam i say ah i cannot do that damn it okay to assign the color to each of these okay now i have my color in my door beautiful 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 so i have the door right so now i need to create a trigger for jumping to the other side and then i'm gonna create another cube uh scene trigger and then i'm gonna bring it to my door make it a little bit like this like this I'm gonna leave it visible, but the idea is that we, it should be like without the mesh renderer, so it's invisible, but I'm gonna leave it visible so you can see what I'm doing. So now in this scene trigger, I'm gonna add my script for jumping. So it's called scene switch, right? And then it's gonna ask me like which scene number I, I, I want to switch. So for that, I go here to file, um, build settings 
and then here I add open scenes, right? And it's gonna tell me that this world one is the scene zero, right? Close this and then I save this and then I go to my second world and then I go here and then I go to build and then I go to add open scenes. My second world is gonna be the first scene. So now I know that is the zero and the one scene, right? So I go back to my world one and then I go here and then I say, okay, I want to jump to the, the first scene, right? Uh, it needs to be is triggered because it's a collider. So if it's not triggered, it's not gonna jump, right? I think that that will be it. So let's go inside. So if I go here and I touch this thing, boom! Now oh, I'm here. Why am I seeing the blue plane of the second world like this and it's nothing happening and now it's like quite weird it's just like a static view it's because in the other world we are just like working with a regular camera we are not having our xr origin so our character is not created there so there is nothing to interact with there so that's the problem right so something super simple that we can do select our xr origin our locomotion system our XR Interactor Manager, a Command C, <laughs> Control C, classic all copy paste. So Control C, then you go to the second word and uh, save, and then you go to hierarchy and paste Control B. So now we have our character in this word, right? But also, if we don't have in our plane, if we don't have our tele teleportation space we are not going to be able to teleport add here our component of teleportation area so now we can teleport ar around here so if we go back again and yeah save and then we and if we go to our beautiful door and then we just like cross our body is so funny because now we can see how we move our our eyes are attached still to the main camera but we are seeing ourselves moving around so that should be because i forgot to erase the main camera in our second world that's why uh, let's delete this camera so now it should be working i hope so and then i just go here bam bam and now i'm in my other world beautiful and then i can teletransport and stuff like that la 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 and, and actually like i can just like go here and make it invisible right and now it's like oh yeah regular door oh my god so beautiful boom no it's not damn you are in another dimension now if if i fell out of the world of this world i can have uh for example if i go here and create cube right and i call like fall and then i have my cube and then i put it down here in the world i'm gonna put it here and then i make it huge and then mesh collider and then is trigger and then i add my script my scene jump and then I put zero because this is the zero. I'm adding this one is in case that I I fell out of the the world. Then it's gonna return to it's gonna return me to my plane. So it's really useful in that sense for like just returning your character if it's not in the right place, right? So let me see if it's working because if I go here and for example I'm gonna go backwards and then oh no I'm falling and boom now i'm back here right so that's super useful interactions it's a trigger for jumping between scenes you, you can have whatever amount of scenes that you will need